You know, a guy like Donald Trump is actually pretty easy to figure out. You know, it's easy to know what this man stands for, what he's all about, what he wants to do, and how he's going to get there. And the easiest way to do that is simply follow the money. You know, that old adage from journalism back when we had uh, plenty of real journalists in this country, we're down to just a couple at this point, but you follow the money. And that's what some of these amazing organizations in this country are doing, specifically Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington crew. They have done a phenomenal job of leading the charge in the lawsuits against Donald Trump for violating the emoluments clause of the constitution. Public Citizen and ProPublica have also been talking about the fact that Donald Trump is taking in illegal payments from foreign governments, from foreign officials representing those governments. They're staying at his hotels, they're playing on his golf courses, they're eating at his restaurants. That money, by way of the profit stream, goes back into Donald Trump's pocket. It is therefore an illegal emolument according to the US Constitution. Now, Donald Trump is the only president in modern history who has been allowed to maintain control of their businesses while serving as president of the United States. And as I am very fond of saying, they made Jimmy Carter sell his peanut farm. The man couldn't profit off of peanuts, yet Donald Trump can profit off of all these foreign dignitaries staying in his hotels. And if you don't think it's a big deal, then how about this new report that shows that 22 different countries have essentially funneled money to Donald Trump by way of using his properties. And here they are. This is from NBC News. I'm going to read this word for word. At least nine foreign governments were involved in hosting events at a Trump property. They are Afghanistan, Cyprus, Ireland, Japan, Philippines, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and Turkey. At least nine foreign governments rented or purchased property in buildings or communities owned by Trump businesses. They are Kuwait, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, China, Malaysia, Slovakia, Thailand, India, and the EU. Representatives of at least five foreign governments, Georgia, Nigeria, Malaysia, Romania, and Saudi Arabia, have stayed at a Trump property, and at least eight foreign governments or their representatives attended parties or gatherings at Trump properties. And those countries would be Brazil, Dominica, Georgia, Nigeria, Russia, Turkey, Malaysia, Qatar. And all the money goes back into Donald Trump's pocket. And sure, I'm sure there is an argument to be made that they're just staying in a hotel. They're, they're not getting anything from this. They're not trying to bribe the president. No. You ever been to Washington, DC? I've been a couple times. Let, let me tell you one thing there's no shortage of in Washington, DC. Hotels. You ever been to New York where a lot of Trump properties are? You know what else there's no shortage of over there? Hotels and properties. Oh, you've been to Florida before? Yeah, you know what we have an overabundance of? Golf courses and restaurants. So you don't have to go to Donald Trump's, but you do when you're trying to curry favor with him because we know, as Donald Trump himself has mentioned, he likes Saudi Arabia because they buy a lot of things from him. So he likes to give them preferential treatment. And now we find out that they're among, uh, you know, these 22 countries that are always staying at his properties, you know, funneling money indirectly back into his pocket. And Saudi Arabia hasn't gotten any special favors, right? Other than of course, you know, the $8 billion arms sale that he decided to go around Congress in order to do. Yeah, Saudi Arabia is making out like a bandit here and they know exactly what they're doing. In fact, every country on this planet knows how to manipulate Donald Trump. You want to get a special favor from the United States? All you got to do is suck it up for a night and eat at one of the disgusting restaurants on his properties that have, by the way, been slapped with multiple health code violations over the years. Or if you can stomach it after that, spend a night or two in one of his hotels that's gaudy and tacky and atrocious. If you can stomach that, then you too, could get special treatment from Donald Trump. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos 
all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.